Welcome to Moraine Lake. It is a glacially fed lake in Banff National Park, 14 kilometers outside the village of Lake Louise, Alberta, Canada. It is situated in the Valley of the Ten Peaks at an elevation of approximately 1,884 meters. It's about 200 kilometers from Calgary with an estimated travel time of 2 hours and 15 minutes if you're going there by car. The Moraine Lake Lodge Nestled in a spectacular valley in the Canadian Rocky Mountains, Moraine Lake Lodge provides the ultimate romantic getaway for those seeking a luxurious escape for a honeymoon, anniversary, hiking experience, or a relaxing vacation. Nature-inspired interiors in rich earth colors grace the rooms and cabins, which also offer fantastic views of Moraine Lake, the Valley of the Ten Peaks, and its glaciers. Once you stay in the lodge, they'll provide complimentary services like canoeing on the lake, guided hikes with their in-house naturalist, evening presentations, breakfast, and afternoon tea and coffee. Also, Wi-Fi is available throughout the property and a telephone is available in the lodge. The Snowshoe Cafe is open daily, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. and offer a variety of deli foods, fresh baked pastries, hot and cold beverages, and ice cream. Walter Wilcox Restaurant One of the top gourmet restaurants in Banff National Park, the Walter Wilcox Dining Room located within the Mountain Lodge offers a unique, elegant menu showcasing the best cuisine from the region. Moraine Lake Trading Post, a gift shop that offers outwear, clothing, handbags and accessories, jewelry, Rocky Mountain designs, souvenirs, and specialty food products. Go visit this gift shop to buy a souvenir to always remind yourself of the beautiful Moraine Lake. The Canoe Dog Canoe season at the lake is one of the popular activities by locals and tourists alike. This is an incredible experience that can't be missed while you're in the Rockies. The Canoe Dock is open daily from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. weather permitting. They provide a paddle, life jackets, and basic instructions. Rock Pile Walter Wilcox set out in August 1899 in search of a new route up Mount Temple. Wilcox hiked up the valley to the top of a pile of rocks. There he discovered a splendid sight and he called, a narrow secluded valley with a small lake enclosed by wild rugged precipices, one of the most beautiful lakes I have ever seen, unquote. Wilcox named it Moraine Lake after the Moraine, or rock pile, deposited by the Wenchemna Glacier. Today, the most popular trailway is that of rock pile. It's a quarter of a mile hike with 25 meters elevation. You can reach the top in 10 to 15 minutes and enjoy the breathtaking views of the lake and the peaks. Wildlife is abundant in the area. Squirrels, chipmunks, and marmots are the most common types of wildlife you might encounter on your way up. I notice that they are somehow very familiar and confident around tourists. Feeding wildlife is a strict no-no. A natural diet is healthier for them. Moraine Lake and the Valley of the Ten Peaks welcome you with crystal blue waters, towering peaks, and glistening glaciers. This stunning view of the lake from the Moraine Rock Pile is one of the most photographed locations in all of Canada. That view of the mountains behind the lake in Valley of the Ten Peaks is known as the $20 view, as Moraine Lake was featured on the backs of the 1969 and 1979 issues of the Canadian $20 note. 
Its waters are the most amazing color, a vivid shade of turquoise that changes intensity as the sunshine hits the water. Sit on a rock pile and absorb the sight and pure mountain air as it gives you an equal impression of inspiring solitude and rugged grandeur, and that the time spent contemplating the view will be one of the happiest half hour of your life. Set in the rugged valley of the Ten Peaks, Moraine Lake is surrounded by mountains, bodies of water, and rock piles, creating a scene so stunning it almost seems unreal. The surrounding mountain views make it seem like you are gazing at a painting. The Valley of the Ten Peaks and Moraine Lake were visited by thousands each summer, but Samuel Allen was the first in 1894. Allen, an early explorer of the region, who simply referred to the peaks by using the numerals from 1 to 10 in the Stony First Nations language. Today, only two peaks retain their original names, Neptua, 9, and Wenchemna, 10. The other mountains were renamed in honor of noteworthy individuals including Allen himself. Shoreline Trail Starting near the canoe dock, the 3 kilometers Lakeshore Trail weaves through the forested shore of the lake. It is flat, easy walk that allows for beautiful views of Moraine Lake for all abilities. Along the trail, you will get magnificent view of Mount Fay and Fay Glacier. It is an easy trail with a lot of lookout points and constant direct access to the water. Some benches are available to stop for snacks or just enjoy the tranquility of nature all around. That blue-green water is like nothing else in the world and every few steps offers another beautiful sight. If you are heading to one of the most soft after locations such as the Moraine Lake, I would suggest you try to get there very early in the morning as there will be reduced parking capacity. Also, consider purchasing your National Park Pass online for a smooth experience. Here, a unique mountain experience awaits, a myriad of hiking trails from easy to difficult which offer something for everyone. Some activities allows visitors to enjoy nature even more, like canoeing. Others even bring their own kayaks and stand-up paddleboard. For a more laid-back experience, grab a coffee, even a blanket, and immerse yourself with the beauty of the lakes as the sun rises. The Moraine Lake is an undeniable must-see in Canada. It is a perfect place to escape and relax or have the adventure of a lifetime. <music>